The Western Conference Semifinals, Game 3. The Thunder. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we've got Game 3 of the Western Conference Semifinals. This one promises to be hard fought. And tonight, it'll be the Oklahoma City Thunder going up against the Memphis Grizzlies right here at FedEx Forum. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analyst. Grizzlies start out with the ball. And the Oklahoma City starting five. Holmgren is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Lori Markkinen. Then it's Jordan Poole. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the point. And that one's good for Brooks. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pitch. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. Let's it go from 14. Offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. Well, simply stated, Stephen Adams is a force to be reckoned with rebounding the basketball. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. And he makes all three. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Morant, the pass to Bain. Off target from outside. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Well, this is about knowing where to be in these situations. And Gilgis Alexander doing a beautiful job getting to the right spot. Jackson with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And that one's long. And they're on the break. And slams dunked by Gilgis Alexander. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity. And the finish pretty good. To halt the run. Morant with the slam! This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. And that was our AT&T 5G slam can, bringing you the sauce. I think what you love about Shea Gilders Alexander is the size, athleticism, and instincts he brings to the position. This guy has the whole package. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. For Memphis, they've gone three of six from the floor. Brooks against Markinen. Brooks, the pass to Moran. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. Off target from three-point range. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. Shea Gilgis Alexander attacking and in rhythm on the offensive end. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. The Thunder with the rebound. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Jackson outside. Here's Adams. That one no good. Good D by Vanderbilt. Thunder with a lead. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. He's picked up by Adams. Here's Markkinen. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Grizzlies. And here now a list of the players who have had the hottest hand in the playoffs. Ja Morant on top. Second is Shea Gilgis Alexander. Seems like these two can always find points, no matter what big game pressure they're playing under. Here's Moran. Moran with the slam! Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Timeout call. Memphis. Ah! 
first quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Marketing against Brooks. Some solid defense for Marketing. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Jackson with a screen on Marketing. Here's Brooks. And again, Memphis no good. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Vanderbilt, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. He takes it in and slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Outside Moran. Adams a screen. Can they get it? The shot won't fall. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. No good on the fast break pull up. Memphis has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Moran with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Outside Moran. Down to five on the shot clock. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Shoots off the step back. Adams grabs the miss. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Brooks against Markinen. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Laurie Markinen. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And he drops the first. So Memphis going with an almost entire new group here. Clark is checked in for Adams. Aldama comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Kennard, he's checked in for Desmond Bain. And it's Jones in for Ja Moran. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Pass to Clark. Now Jones. Gilgis Alexander defending. Jones misses. The Thunder have gone 8 of 10 shooting. It doesn't go for him. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Brooks with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Brooks the pass to Jones. Nope, another miss. 0 for 2 to start the game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the layup falls. Gilgis Alexander's got 24 points. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Well, the Grizzlies shooting pretty low at 24% in this first quarter. And here's Brooks. Over Finney Smith. And again, Memphis no good. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Oh, Dama, no good. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. It's a 16-point game. Gilgis Alexander tries again. And it's good on the layup. And he's got 28 now. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Brooks outside. Looking to end the run. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. What a performance for Shea. Continuing our coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. Glad to have you back. And guys, we've seen the Thunder really take control here. Well, they clearly came... So Memphis going with an almost entire new group here. 
Adams checked in for Tillman. Aldama comes in for Clark. Dylan Brooks checked in for Kennard. And it's Morant in for Jones. Bain and Brooks out on the wing. Then it's Steven Adams. Then there's Ja Morant. And it's Aldama in at the power forward position. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Puts the move on. And then Morant with the jam! The quick feed of Morant. He's so dangerous when he's cutting to the rim. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, the swap by Adams. Moran against Vanderbilt. And Moran gets double teamed on the wing, Brooks. Oh, a rim rattling two handed jam. Well, Stephen Adams could care less about scoring. In fact, you get the sense he takes more pleasure from passing than scoring. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free-throw line. That free-throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Both free-throws good from Gilgis Alexander. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Outside Moran. Over Gilgis Alexander. And it's Morant missing. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. Can't hit from in close. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Morant with the slam! Plays with so much confidence. When Morant gets in a zone, he stays aggressive. Oklahoma City has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. For Memphis, they've got seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his fifth rebound in this one. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for your Disney And he makes a first. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and is getting them to the free throw line. And Bain drops them both. And for the Thunder, they're shooting just around 39% in the second quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. Gilgis Alexander's got 34. A challenging stretch here for Memphis. Adams finds Moran. 119 left to play in the first half. Adams, the pass to Moran. Six to shoot. From deep, Bain. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Bain's got five now. We've watched Moran get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. For Memphis, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. Outside Bain. Pass to Moran. On the wing, Brooks. Three-pointer off the mark. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Well, he's still scoring, but he's gotten away from his first quarter approach when he was attacking the defense and drawing foul after foul. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jackson, he's checked in for Adams. And it's Jones in for Bain. 35 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Walker against Moran. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Wow, shake Gilgis Alexander off his feet and sends it back. Hachimura sets a screen. Just three on the clock. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got 38 points. Well, pick and roll play from Shea Gilgis Alexander really start to come along. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're feeling great. A 21-point lead. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. More 2K action in just a moment.
I like their physical approach, but they're being reckless out there. Silly fi- Looking at this series for the Memphis. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And on the floor for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. We've got Jared Vanderbilt. Jordan Poole out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then it's Laurie Markkinen, and it's Holmgren in at the center position. He pushed a little too hard there trying to close the gap. And yes, he paid the price. That's a big miscue, and you hate to see that happen at this point in the game. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Baines checked in. Outside, Gilgis-Alexander. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Job Grant picks one up. Let's remember, Shake Gilgis Alexander is six foot six, so getting on the interior is not a problem. And so it's Memphis with it. Here's Morant. Soft touch off the glass. Morant's got 18 points in the game. In the paint, Morant stays nimble, and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Adams a screen. Bane. Tipped. Wow, I mean, the seven foot six wingspan coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. You know, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Good on the 13-footer. Gilgis Alexander's got 42 in the game. Well, they're just riding the hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in a zone all night. And then Morant with the dunk. Look at what he's doing here, and it's hard to imagine him playing much better. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Grizzlies with the rebound. Morant's got his fourth rebound in this one. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Dynamic. I mean, every night Morant makes incredible plays, and that extends as well to his passing. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Parking it from long range. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got nine rebounds now. Here's Brooks. The rebound by Markkinen. Markkinen's got four rebounds now. Gilgis Alexander, double team. Markkinen outside. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. And looking at these playoffs so far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. Fifth on the list, Ja Moran. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Tillman's checked in for Adams. Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Kennard, he's checked in for Brooks. And it's Jones in for Moran. And Oklahoma City with a change here too. Monks checked in. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. There's the double team of Gilgis Alexander. Outside Bain for three. He got a piece of it. Pushing it up the floor. Here comes Oklahoma City. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got 49 in the game. Three straight baskets in transition now. They've got to put a stop to that trend. 
Pass to Tillman. Monk against Jones. And here's Kennard. And again, another missed shot. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. On the wing, Bain, from behind the arc. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Memphis has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Pass to Jones. Outside Bain. Kennard with it. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range. The offensive rebound. Here's Tillman. That one rolls around and rims out. Against length, he tries the fadeaway. It's just a low probability shot. That's just great recognition from your big man, right? Markkinen is going to find the open teammate and put it on time and on target. I love this guy's passing skills. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Aldama's checked in for Memphis. Here's Jones. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. John Moran is out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Bain in at the small forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's his first foul. Dylan Brooks checked in for Jones. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Markkinen's checked in for Finney Smith. Adams finds Brooks. Morant with it. Gilgis Alexander defending. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big time play. Jackson on the wing. This one for three. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got five assists in the game. 17-foot shot on the way. Again! What an avalanche! What a performance. He's now tied for third most points in single-game playoff history. Boy, the way he's been scoring the ball, you had a feeling he'd leave his name in the record books. Morant, no good. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Memphis has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Morant with it. Left side Bain. Here's the three. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. And Gilgis Alexander missing for Memphis. They've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. And here's Morant outside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Markkinen's got his sixth rebound on the night. And Gilgis Alexander missing. That's some outstanding on-court awareness there. Just a terrific change of shot. Kicks it out to Jackson. Pass to Moran. And he's going for the oop here. And it's slammed in by Adams. Well, the New Zealander shows a little hops on the alley. The Thunder have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Oklahoma City. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Vanderbilt's checked in for Oklahoma City to the paint. Here's Brooks. Banked it in off the glass. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. 
Gilgis Alexander against Moran. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Moran. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Four on the clock. Grizzlies with the rebound. Listen, he's a confident player, but if you're going for that kind of finish, you better finish it. Moran with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. That one goes. Counting. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, Adams with the block. Boy, this guy is such a defensive stalwart. Steven Adams' size and timing. Send it back, Steven. The free throw drops for Bain. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And Bain drops them both. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. So smooth, so pretty off the dribble drive. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work. Pass to Bain. Fires the three. Outside for Brooks. Inside. Here's Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Oh, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. On the wing, Bane. Let's go with a three. Drills it from deep. Bane's got eight here in this quarter. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter games to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. 152 left to play in the fourth quarter. Gilgis Alexander, screen on Moran, takes the three. Adams grabs the miss. Memphis has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Brooks outside. There's the three. Good. And the setup by Moran. Moran's got nine assists now tonight. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Cool outside. Three-pointer. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Pass to Brooks. Outside Moran. Back to Brooks. Outside Bain. Adams inside. Shoots over Holmgren. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, if you're a center in this league and you're on the floor at the end of games, teams will target you if you can't make free throws. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that narrows the lead down to just three. And by missing that free throw, now a three could even the score. Not ideal. Gilgis Alexander attacking. Right side Vanderbilt. Goes up from the block. And it's good. With repetition, you can see the court awareness of Shea Gilgis Alexander developing. This guy is going to be a problem as a passer. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. He told them to be patient. Work deep into the clock if you have to, but get good shots. He doesn't want them to look up at the scoreboard. He wants execution on each of its plays. Thank you for that, Allie. Can you say prime time player Moran? He enjoys delivering for his team in these parts of the game. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. to market it. Fires from deep. The Grizzlies pull it in. Timeout call. Memphis. They're behind by three. There's 18 seconds left in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? Tricky situation here. They need some kind of bucket to stay alive. And it's either got to be a three-pointer or a score quickly and take the foul. And looking to even the score with a huge three. Greg, this is all about execution. Can you free an open man from the three-point line? That's what it comes down to. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. 
And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. Oh, that could have been the end of it. Instead, he hands them a lifeline. And again, Memphis no good. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And we talk about the things that made Chet Holmgren an elite prospect. Mental toughness is near the top of the list. And so the big win by Oklahoma City in a tight game. Things were looking scary for them coming into tonight. But with this win, they're right back in it. They showed a lot of character and a lot of heart. Many experts had written them off, but now we've got a series.